I'm super excited to be here in Chinatown today with Dine Out NYC to support this project because it is vitally important that we support our neighborhoods. So this is 120 seats in the heart of Chinatown, open to all the restaurants around the perimeter. And um, so these lower partitions are part of a system that we created, a uh, Rockwell Group. It's on our website, it's open source, so anyone can download any part of this design and build it for themselves. So this is why we really need to look throughout the city at all of these blocks and determine where is it appropriate to shut down a full street to get people out. In this situation, it gives them the opportunity to better socially distance, to be outdoors in a safer environment, and to get people off just the sidewalks and into the street. It's been pretty incredible, and the community has um, provided a local school, the Transfiguration School, an artist named Sammy Kukwak, who graduated there and created these murals that, um, that students are now adding to. And some of the details are, these are all 18 inches thick as per DOT's suggestions. And these are solar pieces uh, that uh, will control these lights in the evening. On the weekend, or like it is right now, we're going to fold the planters out to block the street for pedestrian way, so only people you know, walking or on bikes can get through. Um, and then during the week when it needs to have the cars travel through, they fold in and make the way for the cars. It doesn't make a difference which restaurant you get your food from, you can come out here and dine. So people from the five boroughs, feel free to come out to Chinatown and to support this community. This is actually a validation and vindication of what DOT has done a few years ago, which is that on Friday night, we laid out carpeting here, we're putting greenery, we put in lighting along the side, and we even allow cars to slowly crawl through it, and with no incident. New York is about uh, kind of sharing the street. New York is not about empty concrete buildings, so it's, it's pretty overwhelming as an architect to be a part of such an incredible community uh, and have so many people donate their time and services.